Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Greta and I have a fun video for you. I get asked so often in the comments, in, in a DM, I'm torn between this and that and which one should I get? Is this one safe? What should I do? Um, what's your favorite from this house? So I have a list for you of these top 10 solid buys of fragrances I've been talking about recently or that you've heard about recently. So let's get to it. This first one here is BDK Gris Charnel. This is such an easy buy. This is so well loved, so mass appealing, so universal in when and where you can wear this. This to me is great for lounging around. It's great to like kind of polish off a chic look, like a crisp white blouse, some slacks. Um, and then you just kind of, you know, lipstick, shoes. This is like an accessory to me that just kind of finishes off a look. And this beautiful creamy, it's a creamy fig. I know fig is funny. Not everyone likes it, but the way the fig in here is so perfect. The way it's a, a very sweet, jammy fig that's also creamy. And then you have this pop of cardamom to give this little like zing to it. And then, and also this like musky base. This one lasts forever. This one is amazing. Um, I absolutely love Gris Charnel. It is just such an easy reach. If I were to go out of town for a weekend or something, I know I can take this and it's gonna work in pretty much every situation for the most part. This one is really a good one, Gris Charnel. Next up, I get asked a lot because of all the sales at House of Siage, which ones they should shoot for, which ones should they pick up, what's my favorites. Um, and I do have a bunch and I really, I've done some top fives and whatnot on Instagram. If you're not following me there, you should follow me there. Um, I've done some there. I'm really not as active on Instagram as I am here though. But I haven't really done like a top five or top 10 house of Siage here on the YouTube. I really should do that. But you know, my like absolute love that I just, I can't give this one up is mini. I do keep the atomizer in my purse. So when I'm running out of the house, I do forget to wear perfume sometime, but that's also because I know I carry like a quart size bag in my purse that I know I can always spray once I'm in the car. And I wear this one a lot and I get so many compliments. I even got compliments again last night. I went to the movies, um, pizza and movies with some friends and um, or acquaintance, actually people I didn't even really know. And the woman next to me was like, wow, you smell really good. Most people that would love perfume wear way too much and have a very sensitive nose, but you smell really good. And it was Minnie. And then when I was in the movie theater, a person that was sitting by me said, oh wow, I just like smelled your hair and it smells really good. Because all I did was spray my hair and a quick shot on my chest is all I did. I was really quick with it. And he's like, wow, you just smell so delicious. I like want to lick you. I'm sorry if that sounds weird, but I kind of want to lick you. And I just kind of chuckled because that's mini with the raspberry marshmallow with a swirl of like a creamy caramel. It's just so good, this one. But I get it. It's sold out right now. It will be back, but it does sell out super fast. You have to get on this when it's back in stock. So beyond that, I also love Haute Bijou. Haute Bijou is one that I've loved for a really long time. It's from the Signature Collection, so it's been around. It definitely goes on the deep sales. So you're looking at like 180 when they're half off, which is pretty frequently. They kind of rotate which one is on sale. And there's also the new Home Collection comes in Haute Bijou. Oh, this one is just such an easy buy. So Haute Bijou, is a very fruity, musky kind of fragrance. It opens with grapefruit, blackcurrant, and mango. I get a lot of that grapefruit, but it's not entirely just grapefruit because that mango comes in there and sweetens it up and so does the blackcurrant. Now, there is there is some iris in here giving a hint of powderiness, but I wouldn't really call this powdery. 
I wouldn't really call it ambery. Both of that is tempered. There's also heliotrope in there, but that all kind of tempers and gives it some body. It gives it some sillage and projection, but it's not, it's, it's definitely more unique. It doesn't, it's not like your cliche ambery kind of fragrance. It keeps those fruits in there. It's so delicious. It's so easy to love. There's a reason this one is one of their, their top sellers. Haute Bijou meaning um, precious gems, like Haute, Haute Couture, kind of, and Bijou meaning, be, I always think bejeweled, right? Like you're bejeweled, it's your gems. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And you'll definitely not gonna smell like other people because not everyone has House of Sillage. But Haute Bijou is really easy. And that's definitely on my top five there for House of Siage. Now, talking about House of Siage, I am going to start doing some giveaways because I did hit 10,000. I'm super excited for that. <laughs> I am super excited to finally hit the threshold of 10,000. So I have a bunch of things planned because I haven't really done a giveaway in a while. So I'm going to be making up for that. And starting with House of Siage, I have a really just a trivial one to kind of like warm us up a little. I have a bunch of discovery kits here. I have Whispers in the Garden. I will give that away to somebody. And I have the Sweet Atelier collection in a discovery kit. I have Whispers in the Garden Noir collection. And I have a Pour Homme collection also here. So I will give each of those away. Now I will open that up to Europe also because I can just mail that. Um, I will be in Europe, so I can just mail it from Europe also. So it really works out nicely, these giveaways, but I am really working to include a lot of you and not just the US. Let's see, next up, the House of Uniquey Luxury. I started talking about Uniquey Luxury like two years ago is when I discovered them, but I think they came about maybe like 2018 or something around there, perhaps. Now, my personal favorite, I know you hear a lot about Crush On Me, and that is a great one if you like a chocolatey patchouli with like a molten liquid kind of caramel sauce over it. It's a beautiful, beautiful gourmandy patchouli, wonderful, especially in cooler weather. But I'm going to pick Istanbul as the easy solid buy. Oh, Istanbul is oh, so delicious. Now, if you like um, Libre Le Parfum, if you like that, I think you're really gonna like this. It's a more refined version. It is if if you brightened that up, if you brightened up Le Parfum with some fruits, and then also there's a prominent grape in here. It's not so much orange, even though there's an aroli in here, it's really that grape that gives it this sweet kind of fruitiness. There are some citruses too. It's a nice sweet citrus in here. And then that beautiful, warm, vanilla, thick kind of vanilla base. If you added toffee to that and gave it a little bit more of this gourmandy kind of feel to it, you're going to get Istanbul. And it is so, so delicious, this one. It's incredible. I also like that it's not appetite inducing for me because I'm kind of trying to steer away from those. So this is one that I am totally fine with. It has a little bit of this like musky woody kind of base in that deep dry down, but it really kind of stays in that zone. There's such incredible longevity here. Uh, the essential oils are like 30 to 40% in this collection, depending on which bottle. I think this one is 35% essential oils. So definitely incredible longevity on all of them and sillage. They're known for their sillage with all these high natural oils. So. Istanbul is really one of my favorites and an easy, solid buy. Now, Uniki Luxury also just came out with Mushimaro in a beautiful red bottle. That is the first launch where they are switching to new packaging. He now is going to have OPEG bottles and they'll all be different colors. So we have Mushimaro in the orangey-ish kind of red. It's a red bottle. This one is if you were to take a raw marshmallow and then you slid it on a skewer and you held it over a little campfire and you started toasting that marshmallow and the way that marshmallow changes from that like raw sweet powdery to this caramelized kind of marshmallow and you get a little bit of singeing on the tip of that wooden skewer. So you get this 
little bit of singe of like campfire smoke kind of coming in there with your marshmallow, but just a touch. It never gets too cloying because you have rose in there also really tempering this whole well-blended kind of fragrance. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous gourmand, especially in cooler weather. I'm super excited for that one. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I am doing a giveaway also on Instagram. I have that one going on right now. I will have another one on YouTube. But if you want to go over to Instagram and you want to join that giveaway, uh, I think you have another few more days until I pick that winner. If you're not on Instagram, I'm not trying to force someone to download another app. I think there's like way too much phone time in people's lives already, myself included. Just leave myself, leave a message in comments. Um, on, I have a community post about it. Just leave a comment there and then I can manually add your name. It's not a problem. And then I can, you know, I'll announce the winner of both places. So that's a giveaway that I'm super, super excited about. And like I said, I'm just getting started where there's going to be more. So um, let's continue on here. I get asked about this one too. Whew, this one to me um, is definitely a solid buy. This is one that I got stuck wearing for like the past week. I just, gosh, it's so good. And it is by Gritty and it is Duquesa. Now, Demi had talked about this. We all went nuts. I was one of the first to like quickly grab it as soon as Lucky Scent got an order from Italy. It was in transit for a while. Then he sent it to me and I sprayed it. And they're always a little funky. Like they really need to settle when they come from Europe. I don't know what it is, the altitude or what, but they get a little jostled. And they can have kind of longevity issues, potency issues, or I can get like one note will be really prominent. They just, they need to settle. Once this settled, because I got like a really inconsistent first two wearings on that, but it's settled. It is beautiful. It is stunning. I absolutely love this one. It is a gorgeous cherry in a powdery, musky kind of sweet fragrance. This maraschino cherry in here to me it's more like a maraschino cherry and then settles down the cherry gets a little muted but it's there is definitely there but it's a nice elegant cherry that just blends with this like powdery sugar kind of feeling on it it is so delicious i remember waking up the next day saying gosh i smell so good what did i spray again and then I had to keep wearing it for days because I was just in love with it. This is an easy buy, Gritty, Duque by du uh, Duquesa by Gritty. Very easy buy. I love this. I'm not crazy about the, the bottles seem, I think they just got slammed with production and some of their bottles, like I had issues with some pieces falling off, but I haven't had an issue again. I think once I snapped it in place, I was good. But I really, really like this and I'm looking forward to trying some more from this house. But this one is a solid buy. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and give it a big fat thumbs up. You don't want to miss it. I have a bunch of giveaways coming up that you're definitely going to want to see because I got some good stuff coming. I frequently get asked about Zerjoff. What are some easy buys from Zerjoff? And I've talked about a few of them a bunch, like Dama Bianca, and I've talked about them, but there's one I haven't talked about in a little bit that is definitely a solid buy, and that is Ivory Root. Now, Ivory Root is in this gorgeous sapphire blue bottle, which is part of the JTC collection, Join the Club. The notes are vaulted in any one of these blue bottles in the JTC collection. They are guesses on Fragrantica. They are not necessarily correct. But this is a beautiful, voluminous vanilla. In, like a, it has a little bit of a muskiness undertone, but it is a beautiful, very voluptuous vanilla with spices, like warm spices, like there's probably nutmeg maybe in here or... I do get a little bit of kind of a herbally kind of like fresh herbs kind of top to this, but this dries down a gorgeous, gorgeous vanilla with like these mixed warm spices. It's really hard to say what spices, but a whole lot of spices and ivory root is meant to be for the travelers that travel down by the ivory, the ivory root. 
yeah, I definitely get something like a fresh kind of fresh herb with spices and vanilla. It's so super delicious. Everyone loves this one. This is an easy, solid buy is Ivory Root. The next one, oh, my one of my favorite houses. You know, there's the Fab Four that turned into the Fab Five. If you don't know, House of Sillage, Fragrance Dubois, Zirjoff, Raja, and now Soradora. Just my favorite brands in general. Absolutely love them. They're just a whole multitude of hits. Like I just, I find it, I'm really hard pressed to find one I dislike in those houses. They're just hits for me. But Soradora, if I'm going to say for women, the easiest solid buy, I'm going to say go with mandorle, which means almond. So there is this almond neatness to it. When you first spray it, this opens with almost like an almond extract kind of smell to it, but smoother, softer. And as it starts to dry, it gets softer and softer. And by that, I just mean like a little fluffier and smoother. You've got tonka bean in there too, which really gives it this creamy vanilla kind of way. And tonka bean can go different ways. Tonka bean can kind of be cherry. It can be creamy. It can go lots of different ways. It can go a little almondy. And it kind of gives a little bit of an almondy cherry kind of hue to this, but I think it leans more almond for sure. There's a touch of rum in here, but I don't really consider this a boozy fragrance at all. I find it to be a beautiful, in general, almond, creamy, fluffy. You'll definitely be encased by this fragrance. Now there's a touch of leather in there in the most gorgeous, soft, sweetie kind of way further down into the dry down. If you're afraid of leather, this is not one to be afraid of. It's not like a leather fragrance per se. It's just kind of woven into there, blended really well, that it just gives more of a nuance and a dimension, I should say. There is this sweetness. You do get a little bit of caramel in there, giving it a sweet, creamy kind of feel. But in general, it is this gorgeous vanilla, almond, almost cocoa powder like in there, kind of creamy thing encasing you in this cashmere kind of fluff. It is so, so good. I also have a discount code for Soradora. If you use Greta 10, you can get 10% off at Soradora. I think this one is an easy pleaser, an easy reach, and a solid buy. Mandorle by Soradora. Another brand I really enjoy is Una Nui Nomad. They have a bunch of fragrances I love, but I think the easiest buy for me and the easy reach is nothing but Sea and Sky. Oh, if you like clean, musky kind of fragrances, and I know I'm not alone as one of the people really kind of leaning into that, kind of leaning away from these like heavy rose oud patchoulis and kind of leaning into these clean, warm, musky kind of fragrances or powdery and musky kind of fragrances. I'm really leaning into that now and I, I think I'm not alone. But if you are also, Nothing But Sea and Sky is a great one. It's meant that you're sitting on the end of Long Island in Montauk, which is called The End, and you're looking where you're just, you have the sound and you have the Atlantic Ocean, so you're surrounded by water everywhere. And in the winter time, you get this white sky. Supposedly, there's like snow on the ground, but it never snows there. It's just the way the weather systems move. You have to kind of go inland a little bit and you'll get snow, but it's really weird because it doesn't really ever snow in Montauk Point. But the image is, is snow on the ground, the white sky, the ocean will go definitely very pale in the winter time. And like a grayish blue kind of white kind of um, ocean. You'll also get the white caps. So you just have like white everywhere. And this gives that vibe of like cotton balls around you kind of feel. There's something cozy and introspective about this. There's there's like a, a little bit of clean laundry, a little bit of coziness. It's basically a sandalwood musk. So if you're into these fragrances, like um, Palo Santo by Kerner Barcelona or Piano Santal, all these kind of clean, musky, woody, 
powdery kind of fragrances. I think this is the lightest of them. I think this is heavier on that muskiness, like a sweet musk, and a little lighter on the woods, personally, I think. Definitely gonna love Nothing But Sea and Sky. Now, I know I have a discount code for this also. Now, I have two discount codes. There's Greta 10 to give you 10% off, and then there's also Greta 25 that gives you a free 25 ml of another fragrance that you can try from the house. You should be able to stack those. I've heard some people were able to, some people had trouble. If you have trouble, just put it in the comments there in the little memo section, but you should be able to use both. Really, really love this one. This one is so easy to grab for me. I absolutely love this. It's great for staying home. And interestingly, it really is good in the winter time, not just the summer. I find this really good for year round. So nothing but sea and sky. Another one of my favorite brands that I discovered in this last year is Paris Monte Carlo. They're a family owned business in Monte Carlo, Monaco. Um, I, I love a whole bunch of them, but if I were to say the easiest solid buy from them is Vanille de Tahiti. This is a type of vanilla, the Tahitian vanilla, and it gives it this tropical kind of feel but it's really this type of vanilla that's in there. So it's not like a sunscreen kind of fragrance, which I really don't care for. You don't really get any coconut in here, but you do have a Lang Ylang in here. So it is a Lang Ylang and vanilla in this like ambery sandalwood musk kind of base, which I also really love. You'll hear me say that base a lot because it's just the type of profile I really enjoy but I just really like this. And especially with spring coming up and people thinking of sunshine and a little bit more of a sunny day kind of fragrance. I know right now we are in a massive like weather system here. It's been a mess. It's, you've had power outages with people and everyone, but I really like this one, Vanilla de Tahiti. It's so, so good and delicious. And there's just, I don't know, you see visions of a sunny day. It just makes you smile, this one. And it's again, not in like those cloying or nauseating kind of sunscreen kind of fragrances. And there's no coconut. You don't have to worry about that either. It really is this gorgeous um, tropical type of vanilla along with that uh, alang alang. And it just is so good. Um, I don't have a discount code with them, but they do have this at Lucky Scent where I have a code. That code changes periodically. I will always have that code down below in the description box. The last one I have for you, which is one I haven't talked about in a while, but it's an easy solid buy. And it's Maison Francis Kirchen. I know you're sick of Baccarat Rouge. So gentle fluidity gold. This is another one of my favorites. And this is one where I keep the travel atomizer in my purse because it's an easy one for me to spray on and really enjoy it. And it goes with a lot. This is an ambery vanilla musk. Um, it definitely has this kind of powdery kind of feel to it almost, the way it kind of projects. And there's like a pinch of nutmeg, almost like, you know, when you make Alfredo sauce, you gotta put a pinch of nutmeg in there. That same effect that it has is what it does to this fragrance where it just, it's just that little pinch that just spices it up a little bit and just gives it this creaminess with a little bit of zing. This is so beautiful. It's so comforting and warm and like a hug. It's definitely a warmer fragrance. Um, I don't, I, I tend to turn to the silver for the summer, which is a cooler fragrance. Same notes, just a different balance of it. Warm, cozy, again, um, this one is so easy. This is a good layer fragrance too. This is just such a little workhorse here that will go with anything. This works great for just snuggling up and Netflix and chill. It works if you're not wearing a fragrance wherever you're going, just put something on. People are gonna say, wow, you smell really good. You smell kind of delicious, kind of. There's that hint of delicious, but I'm not really trying kind of thing because it's vanilla. Like who doesn't like vanilla? Okay, I'm sure there's someone, but vanilla. It's a vanilla musk, ambery musk is what this is, but I absolutely love Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirchen. Those are all my solid buy fragrances. Um, I'm sure there's more, but those are just the easy picks for me from these brands. 
I do get this up. I do get asked a lot. So I thought I would whip that out. So thank you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah.